What's up guys, Paul Salmon here. Gonna talk about the R66 tail cone retrofit and that's coming up next. So I talked to the good folks out of Robinson and asked them several questions. They were kind enough to uh, answer them. <laughs> First question was uh, the R44 and R22, are they gonna be included? And is the new tail uh, modification gonna apply to the R44 and the R22? And that's a resounding yes, they're all gonna all, the 44, 22, 66, will all have the new style horizontal stabilizer. Okay, next question was, let's say that you have one. I'll tell you what, let's start off with a rhetorical question. What's the most bent piece of metal on a Robinson helicopter? And the answer is horizontal stabilizer. <laughs> One of the main reasons is the horizontal stabilizer sticks out a couple inches past the outside of the skids. And so if you're pulling the thing into a hangar and you're not paying attention to it, and you've got the, the uh, skids right up against the door opening, by the time you get to the tail, particularly if the tail swings towards the, the uh, side of the door opening, you can hook the horizontal stabilizer on it and uh, bend the hell out of it. So now I've got, uh, I think we've got either three or four uh, bent horizontal stabilizers in the parts room that uh, where we've replaced them on other people's aircraft. So it's a very common thing to have horizontal stabilizer damaged. So question is, if you have the old style horizontal stabilizer on your R66 and you sustain damage, A, is the old style horizontal stabilizer still gonna be available? And the answer to that is a resounding yes. They, the original horizontal uh, stabilizer, the old style, will be available. And B, can you retrofit it to the new style if you wanted to? And that was a resounding yes as well. Okay, well, since we're going to the new style, I guess instead of a retrofit, that would actually be an upgrade, right? So what does it take to upgrade? We'll, we'll change our uh, terminology to upgrade. So what does it take to upgrade your older style to the new one? And the answer to that is money. <laughs> like everything else in life. Okay, so let's look at how much money. Okay, so Robinson has developed a kit, um, in fact it's KI-285-1, uh, to modify and quote upgrade your older style uh, R66 to the new style horizontal stabilizer. So you can go on their website and, and pull it off the website and print it out and it will show you exactly what the costs are going to be. So the kit itself, if you order it by December 31st of 2024, is going to cost uh, $3,600. And uh, if you want it in a primer, and there's no extra charge for having the horizontal stabilizer and primer. If you want it painted white, it's $375. And if you want it custom color to match your aircraft, it's uh, $750. They're allowing uh, eight hours of labor. That may be a little light. Let's say it's more like 10 or 12 hours. Uh, so if you total all that up, let's say it's $3,600 for the kit, $750 for the paint job, you're up to about $4,350. Uh, another, say, $1,000 or somewhere between $1,000 $1,200 for the uh, uh, labor to install it. Uh, you're right at about $6,000 to modify it. So and that seems to be a, a reasonable estimate. So one nice thing is the uh, new tail cone, or new tail boom, <coughs> proper, proper name tail cone, I always call them tail boom. But anyway, the new tail cone slash tail boom is gonna have a 4,000 hour interval on it, life limit interval, as well as the horizontal stabilizer. So who should actually go to the trouble to upgrade their old style? Well, the way I look at it, if you had an aircraft that only had, say, 100 hours on it, you just bought the thing you know, a year ago or whatever, and you wanted to upgrade to the new style tail boom, that seems to me to be totally reasonable. You know, yeah, a little bit of money, five, six, seven thousand, whatever. And it's not too bad, all right? If the aircraft only has a hundred hours to go on it before it's going in for rebuild, I don't think I would spend the money. I think I would just wait and get the new tail boom and the new horizontal stabilizer at the, uh, at the uh, rebuild. And again, that new tail boom slash tail boom and horizontal stabilizers are going to have a 4,000 hour life limit. The old ones have a 2,000 hour life limit. All right, so I hope you found this video at least partially entertaining and uh, somewhat helpful. And remember kids, money won't buy you happiness, but it sure makes misery a whole lot more tolerable. <laughs> and we'll see you guys on the next video. Please like and subscribe. 
All right, why don't you key up? Just say uh, nine Romeo Mike's clear to the north. I don't want to. I'm scared. Nine Romeo Mike's clear to the north. <laughs> Roger. I gotta get you talking on the radio more. Uh, why don't you, uh, no. <laughs> How about that? How about that? <laughs>